this. Is it time for you to call the shots in your own life, yes or no? If you're going to win, you're going to have to do sh you don't want to do. Am I right? They banished me, never took a seat. Place for the years, always fill the screens. So hot that the land only grows weeds. A place filled with demons. Hey, listen, and by the way, I'm a little different. Don't give it up for me, give it up for you. Okay? Because you made the decision to be here today and be a fucking winner. Give it up for you. All right, guys, so listen, so number one, we're going to start out with a little word called conform. Do not conform. You got something to write on? Write it down. Three words. Do not conform. And I'm going to tell you what I saw. Guy right here in the green shirt, what's your name? What's your name? Yep. Will? When we were singing the Sales Creed, why weren't you yelling with the rest of us? No, 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 no. I want you to give an answer. See if you're brave enough to give it. Most people don't. Most people don't feel like it. At 5 a.m. when my alarm goes off, I don't feel like it either. But you know what? I get up. Because I'm a man. Because I'm a leader. Because I set the freaking example. Because I'm going to win. And I see some of you guys, you lost that chip on your shoulder. Some of you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking to every freaking one of you in here. Some of you have that I've arrived look on your face. I didn't feel like it. I don't give a fuck what you felt like doing. Yeah. Am I right? Yes or no? Yeah. Guys, is it time for you to call the shots in your own life? Yes or no? Yeah. If you're going to win, you're going to have to do shit you don't want to do. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. That's everybody's problem. Everybody's freaking crowd pleasers. They're ass kissers. Dude, you guys could all be great, but you don't feel like it. You know, in, in three years, our company has grown to a $100 million plus company. In three years. Okay, because I did the shit I didn't want to do. And you guys are doing what you want to do. And that's exactly why you got the life you got right now. It's exactly why your marriage is where it's at. It's exactly why your kids don't look up to you. It's exactly why your business isn't growing. That's exactly why every freaking person in here is on social media looking up to someone else instead of you. Because they're looking up to the people that are doing the shit they don't want to do. And I'm coming to you with the truth. Okay, my job isn't to make you like me today. I want to give you the cold hard truth. Has anybody ever read the book Relentless by Tim Grover? What did he say? He said, get in the ice bath to the players. Okay, you ever read it? Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, the number one, the best in the world paid him to coach. They had their own coaches. You guys have your own mentors, right? Well, you're looking for more because you're looking for the edge. You guys know there's a life and there's a person inside of you that you haven't met yet, and you're ready to rip them out, right? Rip her out, right? Okay, so you get around other people that can help that happen. Tim Grover goes, dude, this coaching program ain't for everyone. Because you know a lot of people, they can't handle the truth. And in this world, do you know what we're missing? Honesty. Hell yeah. You know why I called the guy in the green out? Not because he's a bad guy. Because he needs to be coach hard because he's a badass. Am I right? Yep. Am I right, yes or no? That's right. And that's how we know we're brothers. I'm not trying to put him down. I'm trying to piss him off. Yeah. Because he needs to do the shit that he doesn't feel like doing. When, hey, by the way, in selling, do you got to master a stranger? Yeah. You got to get uncomfortable? Yeah. You got to do shit you don't want to do. Listen to me. I run my company. I still make calls every day on the front line. Okay? I'm a front line killer. I'm going to tell you this. I never grow out of what I'm asking everyone else to do. Me and my wife pick up trash every day in our company. We wipe the windows down. We, we could pay people to do it. We do it ourselves. You know why? I want the grind. Grit is what's taken me to where I'm at. And people get comfortable. And, and mediocrity is crawling over a lot of you. Do not conform. Do not conform. Listen to me. Look to the left. Look to the right and say, I'm not fucking conforming. I don't care if you cuss or not. It's worth saying a cuss word to say, I'm not going to conform. You know what that means? You got the 99% and then you got the 1%. In order to be a one percenter, are you going to walk around amongst 99 percenters? Yes or no? The 99 percenters, they're all around you and I love them. I love them, but I'm not conforming. 
I'm going to stay crazy. You got to be crazy to win in this world, yes or no? Okay, so some of you guys, when my coaches were up here saying, I'm an elite sales warrior. I will destroy my competition. You know what they're doing? They're using their body language to start moving. Is that a part of selling? Yeah, I can change how you feel in an instant. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You stand up, you start moving around, changes how you feel, am I right? Change your body language, change how you focus, change how you feel. When someone says do something, if is it good for you or is it bad for you? That's decision making. Don't conform. Never for the rest of your life will you conform. If you're going to be different in your family, okay, Ed Milet always says in every wealthy person's family, there's eventually a point in time where there was no wealthy person in that family. Okay? Who in here doesn't have wealthy people in their family? Raise your hand. Good. You see all those hands? Every one of you? I want you to listen to me right now. It's going to be you. You're going to make a decision right now in this room to get pissed off. And you're going to have controlled anger. And you're never going to be the same again, ever. And you're not going to conform. Brad, Brad Lee, he's our mentor. He's our brother. We love him. He always says there's a term called allodoxophobia, the fear of what other people think about you. You know, dude, so many of you could be great, but you can't change. You know why? Because instead of changing to be great, you're just conforming. Am I right? When you don't settle, will there be conflict? Yes or no? You bet your ass there will be. Okay? When you decide to leave everybody in your life that doesn't believe in you, there'll be conflict. Do you guys want to be great and go to another level? Okay, right now, I want you to write this down. Audit everyone in your life. Audit everything in your life. Today, you're going to make some decisions. Who and what are we going to get rid of? Who and what are we going to, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to audit our life. And by the way, we ain't even got to you yet because you're probably the biggest problem. But once we get past you, then we're going to look at everybody else so that you can maintain the new you and keep changing. I want you to know this. Closing customers is very, very easy. It's the easiest thing in the world. When you talk to somebody, can't they tell if you got your shit together? Yes or no? Yeah, some of you guys don't got your shit together. You look like a slob. You're not taking care of yourself. You're literally not sharp. Your eyes aren't awake. You're not alert, man. You don't give a shit about people. You don't even take care of yourself or your own family. But you're going to take care of them. They see right through your bullshit. Their bullshit meter is like, dude, this guy's a fake. She's a fake. That's why if you do what I say to do and you become a pro, you'll annihilate people's ass. You want to bankrupt your competition? You want to bankrupt their asses, yes or no? You want to bankrupt them? Yeah. Hey, guys, I'm a, I'm a killer. I'll bankrupt their ass. I don't give a shit. Dude, my customers deserve the best. She'd be like, I can't believe he wants to bankrupt people. No, dude, if you're weak, you're out. No, 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 seriously. If you're not willing to put in the time that I'm willing to put in, if you're not willing to self-invest in yourself, and you're not willing to do all the stuff I'm willing to do, dude, I don't feel sorry for you. I'm going to step on you. I'm going to take you out. Okay, I'm a freaking savage, dude. Listen, I got my ass taken out by people all the time that were better than me. But once I learned, now I'm in the game. You guys got to be ultra competitive. So to be a pro is what I want with all of you. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.